What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, and today's video is kind of a little bit different than normal. Um, rather than a normal session of Overwatch, I'm actually going to talk about a few things uh, leading up to Roadhog's rework. Uh, Roadhog is getting a rework mid-season of 7, and there's a lot of cool things happening in Season 7. There's the Diablo 4 crossover event going on. Sombra is also getting a rework, which we've already seen. Uh, we should be getting a new tank coming up soon, either this season or next season. And we got all kinds of cool stuff, like another new map. Uh, but since we already know about Sombra's rework, and because I don't give two shits about Sombra, <laughs> uh, I wanted to talk about Roadhog quite a bit. So Roadhog, as you guys know, I love playing my tanks on Overwatch. I love them. And Roadhog is no different. Roadhog has probably been my favorite characters forever and you know obviously just with how <laughs> bad he is right now like obviously people aren't playing him as much including myself but so i kind of want to talk about what i think we would see in a roadhog rework so i kind of have made my own little google doc of patch notes quote unquote and i kind of want to go over what i am deciding to give him why i'm giving him the things that i'm giving him and how I think it would be better for Roadhog. So by all means, if you guys have better suggestions, your own suggestions, you want to keyboard warrior me and slam your skull on your fucking keyboard because of how dumb my idea sounds, please, by all means, do it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, but kind of to start off with, the Overwatch devs had made a post a couple weeks ago, I believe, basically talking about what they want to see in a Roadhog rework. Uh, and the three things they said was, one, they want Roadhog to be able to protect his team and claim space. Second thing they mentioned is they want to keep Roadhog's identity and his gameplay or his playstyle. And the third thing was they wanted to shift his power around so he has less of a one-shot potential. And kind of start off with, I want to go over like his base stuff like his health his gun all that kind of stuff so for now i'm actually deciding to reduce his health from 700 to 500 health now we all know roadhog has been notorious for being the fattest motherfucker that has the most health in the game right so i think giving him 500 health will it's gonna be a nerf for sure but I'm also giving him 100 armor, so in total he's going to have 600 overall health. Now the armor is there to not necessarily make him too strong, but basically kind of give him the same like survivability as he's always had. Plus this is going to go, this is going to make a little bit more sense too as I'm going through this. Uh, out to his scrap gun though, I really don't know how to do damage calcs. <laughs> Like, I'm not going to say he does X amount of damage over X amount of damage, because I, I won't know the first thing about that. So I'm just saying here, he does more damage than his current scrap gun, but less than the older scrap gun. Uh, he's still going to, I think he should still have four shots per clip, but keep the same fire speed and the same reload speed. That's kind of it, really. I don't really know what good numbers I can say there that would make sense. Uh, but his chain hook, his ability, his, his back, on his abilities. Fuck chain hook. Get rid of chain hook. Scrap chain hook. Get rid of it. Now, as fun as it was to get land hooks and kill people instantly with your one shot, chain hook has always been such an inconsistent ability for Roadhog. And personally, I think it's one of the most inconsistent abilities in the game. Maybe not now with like Life Weaver and uh, what is her name, Iliari. I'm sure they've got more inconsistent stuff going on, but. I think they should get rid of chain hook. It's kind of been unfun to play with, especially with the nerfs it's had, where now it doesn't pull in as far. It does less dam. I think it does more damage, but I mean, who cares? Get rid of it. But instead, <clears throat> now, again, before you keyboard warrior me, allow me to cook. <laughs> allow me to explain, elaborate. But I think they need to replace chain hook with whole hog. Okay. Now whole hog. Is probably a super amazing ability as far as claiming space and 
you know, say Winston's diving your Ana, or Doomfist is diving your Ana, or Tracer and Genji is diving your Ana. <laughs> you know what I mean? Whole hog. Get rid of them, keep them off your healers, keep them off your DPS, get rid of the tank, claim space. Boom. But how am I going to balance it out as a normal quote-unquote ability? Well, I think it should deal 50% less damage than it currently does. Um, you know, especially if you're down the barrel, you're getting deleted. So I think at least dealing 50%, hell, you can even do 75% if you really want to. Um, I think it should do a lot less damage than it currently does. Make it last like 4-5 to five seconds, because I'm pretty sure right now it lasts 8 or 10, last I checked. Um, as far as the knockback, I really can't decide. Uh, I'm really leaning more towards having 30% less knockback than it normally does, just because I feel like the knockback is super strong, but I also feel like that's because it lasts for so long, you know what I mean? And as far as a cooldown, like how long it, until you can use it again, I think 10 to 12 seconds, because even though, like, this seems like it's not that good, I still think it's a crazy ability. So giving it a long cooldown will enable Roadhog to just dominate space, but he'll, he'll be able to do a pretty good number when the time comes. Um, so the thing I'm most excited to talk about here is his Take a Breather, <laughs> which, why would I care about that? It's the simplest shit he has. But allow me to give you the load down. So you remember how I said uh, Roadhog has armor? Well, his he Take a Breather does not heal it. So he can't heal up his armor, so he can just be unstoppable and killable. Uh, his teammates will have to do that for him. And of course the healing's going to be reduced from 350 to 250, just to match the 500 health thing as, a, as he's always done. He can still walk and heal, I think that's always been a good thing Roadhog has. And his, uh, oh my goodness, excuse me, keep his damage reduction the same. Um, however, I want to give Roadhog a new functionality to take a breather. So. If you guys don't remember, back when I think Overwatch 2 was first announced, they were doing like their biggest experimental patch ever, giving all these tanks new abilities, added shit to their normal abilities, making May a tank. Uh, Roadhog had one where he can drop a gas cloud when he heals that heals his teammates and gives them damage reduction. I think he should do that. However, with a twist. So as we know, right, Roadhog can walk around and heal, but I think he should be allowed to decide to stop moving, heal himself for less health, specifically 200, but then he can drop the gas cloud, basically giving Roadhog a choice to, like, help his team out more, or help himself out more, sort of like, uh, Zarya, I guess, in a sense, right? Do, do I want to give two teammates a bubble? Do I want to give me and a teammate a bubble? Do I want to give myself two bubbles because I'm selfish and I actually desperately need it because I'm going to get focused down? I think Roadhog should have the same thing, but with, you know, his own equivalent to it. So, that, that's, I think that'd be kind of crazy to do. As far as his ult, I'm not going to lie, I didn't put anything down because I don't know what to do for his ultimate. Like, I really don't... Nothing else really stands out to me that, like, screams... Oh, yeah, that's Roadhog. Um, the only thing I can think of is something to do with, like, his Harley. That bike that he rides around on. Maybe, like... He drives it around. He can swing his chain hook and knock everybody down or something. Or they can do to Roadhog what they did to Tom Kench in League of Legends where they took his ultimate and made it an ability, and then make his ability into an ultimate. Maybe make Chain Hook an ultimate? I don't know. I hope not. That sounds awful. But, I don't know. I think the ult I was going to have you guys give me more of a idea on, because I'm at a loss. I don't know. I thought of like doing something for pig, pig related, but like I don't think that would make any sense either, to be honest, with his lore and his play style, but... Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, I, I really want to start playing Overwatch again, but I need Roadhog to to do some hopefully hefty things here. I hope the game devs 
know what they're doing with this rework. But again, let me know what you guys think. Uh, at, at, by all means, let me know everything. From his health, to his gun, to his abilities, to his ultimate. And yeah, I think that's about it. So I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace. Thank you.